lave. All right. Frail gesture. Well, 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 if it isn't my old friend, frail gesture. I want to accelerate. Ooh, I bet the sound is too spicy. Got to quiet this down before the void engine overpowers everything. Why is this, you know... Mm. Ooh, look at that intro. That's a good title screen. Recommendations for a good book for someone who rarely reads? Not really. I'm sorry. I'm not the I'm not the guy to ask. TBQH. What are you crying about? You've been crying all night. Nobody knows why. Come in here. Slab of metal pistol, that's the death loop. I'm ready to loop. What? Come here. Everyone wants to see you. Anything about that? You don't like it? What do you think about that? You don't like that either. Well, well, well. <laughs> I got you. I got you, and there's nothing you can do about it. What's all the crying going on tonight? I gotta play this game, but you're crying. Why don't you calm down a little bit? Take a load off. Yep. IGN gave this a 10. Someplace else gave it a 10. More crying? My cat's name is Sesame. Just gonna wait a few mins for people to filter in. I can start playing this. Flawless masterpiece. GameSpot, 10. IGN, 10. Field and Stream, 10. Cat Fancy, 10. The critics are unanimous in their praise of Deathloop. Ars, Ars Technica trashed it, really? Thoughts on the new Matrix film? I don't know. I Matrix was like right when I was getting out of college. So I'm a little Matrixed out. I went back and I watched some... Uh, Yao Okara? Du hast ein neuen DT Swiss Reifen gekriegt. Wie viele Locher? Locha? Hi, Cayusto. Skokes. Alex Skokel is in the credits. They are in the credits. 
tell you a little story before I begin. Alex Skokel is at Obsidian doing great work on the Deadfire DLC. I was thinking about staying at Obsidian, thinking about going to Lyon, France to work on this game. And I was like, man, you should go to France. Because, I mean, why not? Am I saying that I'm responsible for the quality of the writing in this game? No, but a little bit. <gasps> Alex here! Zwei, zweiunddreißig Speichen. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, ja, ja. All right, I think I can start. I think I can start. Logging into Bethesda.net. This title screen is good. Yeah, it's not every day you get an offer to get a job in France. So, unless you're in France, in which case that's probably pretty common. Yeah, I'm saying Alec. I'm sorry. Alex. Skokel. My producer is Alec. Fry. Apologies. Anywho, I'm ready to break that freaking loop. Just give me a second. Oh, you're not even trying. <laughs> oh, oh, lady, I have no idea. Oh, shit, that's not good. You just hurry up already. <laughs> Killing the protagonist at the beginning of the game. All right, inspired by Fallout New Vegas, I'll take that. Okay. <gasps> oh, what was that? Whew. That was one ridiculous nightmare. Ah, uh, I gotta stop drinking. Oh, uh, 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 okay. How the fuck did I get here? Cool. <sighs> Sorry, just a second. I put this in. It's been having uh, problems with borderless windowed. I'm having a, um, I need to change the uh, mode of this. Penicillin. Two ounces of blended scotch. One quarter ounce of single malt scotch. Three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup mixed with ginger. Shaken with ice strained onto the rocks. Penicillin. All right. Sorry, I gotta. I'm having full screen. Buddy. Uh, let me try putting it in actual full screen again. Yeah, borderless window doesn't actually work as borderless window. It's a little free QA for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. I like the lighting here. Very pretty. You know, and again, I gotta say, this is just good art direction. The Void Engine is good at doing immersive sims. Because <laughs> that's what uh, Arcane does. What am I doing? 
Void Engine is good at doing immersive sims, because that's... That's what it's all about! Former Obsidian narrative person, yes. Alex Skokel worked on this. They were also one of the main narrative designers on the Deadfire DLC. Very, very good. Um, and uh, also they did some writing on Deadfire proper. All right. Yeah, see, the thing is, like, I get, I get worked up and annoyed about the need to make everything like super high fidelity it doesn't you know these we're not nothing's nuts here this is running great this is a 1080 are they using the same engine for redfall i don't know i guess i'm not supposed to go out there or am i let's find out damn it what the that is crazy what a fuck am i all right Carbon low. Nice. You finished a playthrough of Deadfire? Awesome. Alec, the producer, says, Alex rules they were the lead narrative designer in Beast of Winter and Forgotten Sanctum. It's true. All right, let's immerse... What a sim! You can pick up a bottle, you can throw it. The bottle breaks, holy shit, this is next-gen gaming. I'm kidding. I'm jesting. Twas merely a jest, can I put water in the bottle? No? All right, well, Alt F4, bye. Bye. What if I need ice cold water later? Break the, <coughs> break the loop? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope, that's there. I'm seeing it. Ah, oh, man. Nice, but did I just drop my bottle? Jeez. Jesus Christo. All right, let's see. So I got a couple of ways up here. Break the loop, break the loop, you gotta break that loop, little babies. Who, who are you? Who, who am I? My name, my name, son of a fuck! What the fuck is my <laughs> name? Uh... I'm sensing a desire to break the loop. What if I do this? Boom. <laughs> I'm drinking a penicillin tonight. I don't think I made it that well. I love small caliber rounds. Oh, light infantry machine pistol. Why do I know this? Oh, oh okay. Squeeze left trigger to shoot. Hold right trigger to aim down sights. Classic. Arga reload. Clear jam by pressing R. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh my god, I'm fucking incredible.
Alright. Alright, I squoosed I squoosed the rounds. Can I get this open? Alright. Two plant two splinter two cell. All right, let me just, again, point something out here about textures. I think it's important. Like, none of this stuff is... Already got full ammo. ...like super high res. It's just the... It's consistent. I don't know, I just feel the need to point that out because I think people get, in this day and age, get real bent out of shape about... fucking jacking everything up to... 4K. Oh, great. Of course you Not necessary. Is Fallout New Vegas 2 possible? It's not a th it's not a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing that's up to me. <laughs> I've said this many times. It's not up to me at all. It's like three or four tiers above me in authority. It's got nothing to do with me. Okay. Feels familiar. And this place is mine. Be my best self. Shiny. Mm, makes me feel funny. Trinkets are imbued with the power of Black Reef's Temporal Anomaly. Some amplify your skills and attributes while others enhance your weapons. Higher quality trinkets have more powerful effects. Trinkets can be found hidden around Black Reef or taken from enemies. Cool. How do I... Uh, you, uh, what? Yeah, Zbros... Zboroska. Is it? Oh no, Polish people might be awake right now. They might have heard me said that. Style provides you a lot of purchase. It requires its own art skill, but allow you to avoid the need for certain realism. And realism, that thing is really expensive. Isn't Korva, is that, uh, oh, that is Polish and Czech, right? Baba Jabba. Daddy's little shipping magnate. Tight grip on that paintbrush. Has what everybody needs. Carries the Havoc slab. Hits like a truck. Oh, Slavic, but that's a whole. Is it literally every Slavic language? <laughs> Hmm, well, this is creepy. Nice. Charlie Montague, kind of a genius, kind of a moron, entirely a nerd. Shift slab makes him hard to pin down. I wool socks. Igor Serling, self-side scientist, scientist, Igor Explorer, meal ticket, ether slab, makes him more invisible than he already was. Is this like um, Mega Man? Does this get all fuzzy? Okay, there we go. I guess these slabs. Ramblin' Frank Spicer, fucking fantastic musician. Short fuse and mean right hook, no slab, no abilities, but a dead eye shot. Any dumb pre-order stuff for this game? I don't know. Because I don't pay attention to that shit. Game's out. I bought it. Done. Not out. Not buying it. Easy. Is the game out? No? 
cool. Let me know when it's out. It's out? Great, I'll buy it. Easy. Live life this way. I don't always have control over what pre-order stuff goes into games that I work on. But let me tell you this. Don't ever fucking do it. Chump. Chump stuff. Don't ever get pre-order. Don't pre-order games. Don't pre-order games. I know I'm not supposed to say that because it's, like, good. Let me put it this way. It is good for us. Zero advantage to you. Nothing. I'm sorry, except for these gimmick things, which are usually not very good. Just don't do it. Imho. Special editions, I think, are different. If you want the special goodies, like the physical things, it's not really my thing, but I could see why you would want it. Fine. But... They can have a word with me tomorrow. I hate them. I hate pre-order stuff. I just don't like it. Maybe tomorrow right. I'll apologize. But right now, Let's you know I'm telling the truth. I don't like pre-order stuff. I made this, I think. Kickstarters, I think, are a little special because the whole thing is a pre-order, essentially. Like, it's not going to get made unless it's done that way. So I kind of get it that way. But for just regular retail releases, like, I don't, I don't get it. Use the hack -a jig to hack into electronic devices and turn them to your side. Target a device and hold the middle mouse button to hack it. The lights on the Hackamajig display your progress. Am I going to get mad about the lights in this? Let's find out. Shouldn't bias it. But some hack devices can be remotely triggered with a Hackamajig. Aim at the hack device and press the middle mouse button to do so. Sensors, turrets, and security shutters can be hacked as can anything with a hacking antenna attached to it. Cool. The top light is red, the bottom light is green. Guess what? I'm already mad. Don't like it. Come on, man. Is it? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, look. This game is looking really cool so far. It's looking really cool. Art style is cool. Very nice. But if there's a red-green thing on there, and there's no colorblind thing, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Anyone want to help me out here? <laughs> Come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll just, I'll just. I don't know any damn code. Yo, hello? What the? Um, advanced, I mean, it could be under here, but... People are saying I don't need it. So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go, and we'll see how it goes. Just don't just stop using red and green, okay? Or give alternate shit.
What the? This interface is a little... Uh, old habits die hard. <clears throat> Maybe I should go look for this code. Name Colt? That's gotta be it, right? I don't feel like a Colt. All right, Colt, let's go find this code. I'm using keyboard and mouse. Shallow water hurts, deep water kills. All right. Well. Uh. Was Fallout 1 fuller, fully colorblind accessible? Not really. Fergus is not colorblind. Tim Kane is colorblind. But I don't think Fallout 1 was that colorblind friendly. What was that? I'm colorblind. Alec is colorblind. Tim is colorblind. There are a lot of colorblind people at Obsidian, but Fergus isn't one of them. Bone hurting juice. Shit. That's her. That doesn't sound good. What's that? Oh, just light. <laughs> Don't need it. Yeah, I like I like uh I like streaming late. Because it's early in Europe, so you get some Americans and some Europeans watching. Which is good. I'm wearing I'm wearing a GMT watch tonight, and it's set to the second time zone is set to Central or I'm sorry Central European. This is good. This is a good art direction. Good lighting. Just looks nice. Looks nice. Whoops. <laughs> Check out this cool sprint. Nice. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. Hi, Mission Boo. Oh, it must be... Is it 6 a.m. there? In Wales? You know, I gotta say, I don't think uh, this was nice. This penicillin. It's not, doesn't, it's not super, doesn't seem super strong. I did take a while to drink it, but it seems pretty good. Alright. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, there we go. Lunch. 
60s color palettes for the win. Specifically, 60s Europe. I'm not as big on 60s America. I mean, surprise. I generally like s late 60s European vibes. Execution. Press F when prompted to perform an execution. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Gun executions. <laughs> More games need to support that. Penicillin. Have a Midwest night. See, the thing is, I bet you like, uh, I bet you like brandy old fashions, though, don't you? Alec. <coughs> Alec went uh, to college 10 minutes from where I grew up. Incredible, but true. All right. Hisser. Murder for the win! They just disappeared? That felt too easy. I've done this before, haven't I? Enemies vanish when they die, leaving a telltale smear of a shadow behind. Other enemies might notice these remains and seek vengeance. Ooh, it's like no one lives forever, except not good. <laughs> because you have the thing. Hissing without using his hands, truly a chaotic evil. Yes. Murder. For the win. Nolfin. Nolfin and golfin. reference for the younger folks. Y'all ever seen the burbs? Pretty funny. Pretty funny. Satanism ASMR. Redrum! Redrum! What's all the yeses? I think Juliana will also appear as a, um, like a NPC. Like, sorry, not as a um, player-controlled opponent, but just come fuck you up. Juliana will appear as AI-controlled if you can remember. I'll be back tomorrow. It's good looking. It's good art direction. Nice lighting. Not going crazy with shaders. Oh, I prefer it. Yeah, it's less stylized than Dishonored. I mean, in Maho, looks like it, but yeah, I was just wondering if there's a time of day thing because I mean, time is important, so. Uh, 
Are you creeping in the weeds? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Where are those guys? That's what you call a vista, folks. Nice. So this is basically like the, uh, you know. You know what I'm talking about. In um, that game. Prey. <laughs> kind of. T. Psychoscope, baby. What's up, dude? Machete. Pistol. Machete. Are you queen in peace? All right. Let's see. How does this work? Hmm. The first lot players tag enemies? I don't know. Sorry, just peeking. You gonna turn around? Just waiting for this guy to turn around so I can do some murdering. did last night exactly but if you could just uh what what did you say uh i think we know each other we know each other don't we yes <laughs> finally you're back so how much do you remember about me well it's a little hazy what do you remember my name's colt about me you want to kill me for some reason and i already know some fucking code which i don't and there's this you loop wanna and... break the loop right uh yeah I think so. Uh, look, if you don't try to break the loop, I'm just going to kill you over and over again in increasingly violent ways until you do. Fine, I'll break your fucking loop and whatever I did to piss you off, I'm sorry. Uh, still there? You never said that before. We dated, didn't we? Just go inside the library. You need to see this. Oh, I could have caused a disturbance.
Is there any functional difference between having these two? Um, in games like Dishonored, Deathloop, do you usually like to stealth shoot or a little bit of both? Um, a little bit of both. It depends on my mood. I usually like to stealth into murder. I, I usually don't have the patience to um, fully stealth everything. You can duel. How do I duel? How do I dual wield? Oh. Ooh. Oh, but you can't aim. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I think that I would prefer... Don't need it. To aim. Unless I were in close quarters, though. Yeah, I haven't played Ghosts of Tsushima yet. Hello. All right, all right. Let's 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 get real here, folks. Let's get right down to what's important. How this bike is modeled. What do we got? We got Guidone levers. That's nice. This is um, this is a classic old style of um, brake. This is a very old style of brake because it's not cable driven; it's lever driven. So the pivot is right there, and then you pull on the on the lever, and that will pivot it there, and it'll push down on the rod. And there's a pad there, and it literally goes straight onto the tire, which is ridiculous, but that's uh, kind of how they did it. Also, another nice thing, there's rust on this, which means it's a steel rim. The front hub, this is very thin. You can tell this is an old classic rim, or a hub, because of how thin the uh, front is. It's attached with 15 millimeter hex head, which could be more typically it would have a uh, wing nut. This would probably be expensive to model though, so I can understand why you'd want to do that. Instead, it wouldn't have quick release though, which is good. Um. Sorry. Let's see here. What's going on? Um, this is an old style of seat post holder for a straight post. It's very classic. Ah, uh, that stem is a little. I'm sorry, not the stem. The seat post is a little narrow for the gate for the diameter of the seat tube. Like that, that would be th really thick gauge, which is not quite right. Bolt is maybe a little oversized, but that's correct. This is a little weird. I don't know why you'd have a bolt from the seat stays. This type of construction with the rounded... Actually, hold on. Hold on, folks. We're not done here. So the style of dropout looks like a stamped dropout, not a forged dropout, appropriate for a bike of this general price point. The seat stays, they're kind of cut away, back away. It's typically a sign of higher end construction. Usually with plugs, they would be rounded out toward the bottom, toward the dropout. This is a semi-horizontal dropout, again, very typical for a single speed cranks look pretty appropriate for a cotter crank of the style cotter pin mm, that's what i like to see baby that cotter pin that's how you know this is not a great bike which means this is a great bike it has a center stand plate for a center stand 
or kickstand. Great. Stamped crown. Steel fenders. Sorry, we're we're gonna break all this shit down. Look at that! The stay going all the way on the inside there. Not a bolt, but I'm there's no bolt holding it, but I'm not gonna take that. There is nothing on the outside, and there should be, because that stay has to connect to something. But it is attached here to the eyelet on the rear dropout. This can be done that way. Sometimes there's an eyelet on the front. One rubber grip. This is like a Rustine grip. Extremely typical. Um, Rusty Bell. Tarnished maybe brass. The light is good. I don't know how it's powered. You really should have a generator. You should have a bottle generator. So there should be a bottle generator next to the front or rear wheel that's wired into this. Could be battery powered, but unlikely. This seat looks kind of like a Brooks or more appropriately an Ideal seat. Oaks. Actually, one last thing. Yeah, this is fixed. So this is fixed with a front brake, no rear brake. This might be the best bike I've seen in a game. Like, because it's all very appropriate. It's all together. Like, there's almost nothing here that is not appropriate. Or if you were to get a 60s wrench city bike, even the rake of this fucking fork, you know, maybe there should be a little more rake. That's it. But if you're going to build me a 60s wrench city bike... I would say this looks a little older. This might be like a 40s city bike. But the important thing is, it's the best one I've seen. Okay. Well, that about wraps it up. <laughs> Season, the bike in season also looks very good. A bike in every game. There you go. What's over here? There were telescopes in Cray 2017. Need to go to the library. What am I doing? Can I? Could I? Can I? 
the water tank. Did I miss something really obvious? I bet I did. I bet there's a bike. I bet there are a thousand bikes like that on the streets of Lyon, France. Buddy. Oh, can I hacker man something? I don't know. But let me let me try to fuck around a little more. <laughs> nope. Is there an objective marker? I don't see one. Hello, Ooh, that's not the way. That's not the way to go. He told me to go to the library. Yeah, did I miss something? Yeah, maybe I should be peeking. I did. Maybe the library is inside of you. Could you see? The, can I use the telescope on the cliff? Unless I miss something, I don't think so. Hacker, yeah. I thought I maybe could hacker man something too, but I can't see anything. Right click to peek? Well, that's just that. Oh, well, yeah, I went to the telescope and I hit peek and it just zoomed. Did I mess it up? Could it be? Could it be? Oh, you're killing me. No. All right. Is there anything else down here? What am I what am I missing? Folks. Y'all got anything to hack? It is a cool telescope asset. Yeah, I feel... Oh! Alright. Here we go. With green and red, I'm gonna fucking kill somebody. All right, let's judge this kitchen. Good. You mean my emotional sensitivity? You're right. These are good. Where's Sadie Boyd? Or Sadie? Give a breakdown of these posters. Got some nice, got some nice goops. Garibaldi. Do objects break if you shoot them? Let's find out. No, they react though. This little set of stuff. Cool. Props rip. They're nice. Form your own depths. You know what? Look at that. That's fine. That's fine. Like somewhere right now, somewhere on an art team, there's an art lead that's like, this has to be 4096 by 4096. 
Get the fuck out of here. Nobody cares. There's food. Awesome. Great. Moving on. Fine. This is how you know French people made this. Actually, yeah, I guess I would be French. No one's posting that on low poly foods. Red, blue. Okay. All right. All right. The p the pain is palpable. Good vibes. Nice ceiling. Wood grain. Nice. 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 I like it. I like all this stuff. Uh oh. What do we got? Elsewhere's Edge, Gzorb Magazine. Nice. That green? These are some vibes. Holy shit, look at these colors. I can't even see them that well, and I know they're insane. <laughs> That's how you know they're really fucking crazy. This is arcane, yeah. No, I'm fucking around a lot, so there's no surprise I don't have a new weapon. The way the health bar is angled? That's arcane, baby. This is nice. Look at this. Look at this. This is just composition. You know, I'm not trying to diminish... But well, this is just good composition. Like, here's a little thing. Let me tell you something. When you're making a first-person game, you pretty much know exactly where the fuck the player is looking at any given point in time. So, like, when the player is coming through here, like, they're basically looking at this. <laughs> you got a couple of degrees, maybe they're on ultra-wide, it's Alec. He's on ultra wide. Otherwise, you got this. And like all this stuff is like this, this could happen in 2D, meaning like you could know, hey, the space is going to be like this. Let's draw it out and then like make it work. And then all the layering of light and dark and all the shadows and everything. This is just, this is composition. That's what makes this good, is good composition. And there's obviously good lighting, and the props are well done, but this is well composed. Yeah, you don't, like, people don't play like this. It doesn't, right? Hey, I'm playing Deathloop here. This is how I play the game. I'm fucking nuts. No, everyone's going to go through this door. I'm crazy. I walk through doors sideways. No, they don't. <laughs> they go through doors this way. What I'm saying is, you know where the player is looking. So, I'm looping here. You know where the player is looking. So, the player is looking. So, you should compose the scene based on that. I know I'm making that sound very simple. But the thing is, I see a lot of artists and level designers who don't just use the camera like it's what you're doing man love it love these love this poster good love it i want that i want that irl I want that irl this is maybe a little too 
for my personal taste, meaning I wouldn't want, this is very price, price is right. I don't want that. But it's cool. Designers should also know that. I want a death loop. I want candy. Love it. This laminate, this shape. That's a shelf, baby. I got some mid century shelves styled. They're not actual mid-century shells. But they're not that fucking crazy. Look at this. Ooh, yeah, baby! Now we're immersed, folks. Now we're in an immersive sim. Now we're in immersive sim hours. Oh yeah, look at that shit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You wouldn't be able to open these doors fully. Right? I'll let it slide. Thank you. A lot of books in here. Very cool. Already got full ammo. Let it slide that the doors won't slide. What in the... Middle. Oh no. It's Shenmue all over again. Thank you. Thank you for just letting me fiddle with it. Nice. Protect our loop. Folks, I'm going to get some water. i got to lift tomorrow. I don't want to get fucked up. I'll be right back. Seems pretty cool so far. Fucking sick. That's cool. That's cool, baby. Very good. This this room right here. 
Look at this. This is fucking nuts, man. Can you imagine building that? Epic, though. Cool as hell. Really good. Stairs are absolutely insane. <laughs> Waiting to walk on these and fucking trip and fall and die. But they're badass. Good audio cue. Cool. Folks, we're going to do a deep dive on this map. Am I going colorblind insane, or is there like a print over on that? Looks nice. Nice looking map. Small text on the bottom right. Oh, there's crazy magnetic shit on this island. Carl's Bay, Dead River, Caldera Lake. By the way, at Obsidian, at the very least in the narrative designers, huge arcane fans, huge immersive sim fans would love to work on immersive sims. Cool, 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 typefaces, we're good. Does the lake empty in two places? Uh, I don't know, like, I mean, it could be an artificial lake. You'd love to make a game like that with Kate and only Kate. I know there are a bunch of others. Do I have motion blur on? I don't know. NVIDIA reflex. Did I miss motion blur? I don't see motion blur. Camera motion blur. Let's... Let's uh, go down to low. What's the best game in terms of guns? Okay, that's better. Um, like just the guns? Escape from Tarkov? <laughs> Probably. Even though I actually haven't played it, but it looks fucking crazy. All right, I'm in the library. Whatever you do, don't pull the lever. Wait, what? Hello? Shit. Fine, I'll pull your fucking lever. What? Why would I pull the lever? She said not to. Hello? Can I be invaded? I don't know. Tug, tug. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. It's weird because I think this is like counts as cover, so it keeps asking me to peek. 
but I can't actually look through it. Playback, jump, jump, you'll survive. Okay, here goes. You, you gotta be shitting me! Are you listening? Me? You wrote it on Black Reef. You already know the code. What the fuck does that mean? Hello, are you dead yet? Uh, what? I'm Put me up. Man, you're the postcard, dumbass. You wrote it on the Black Reef postcard. You understand? Okay. I'm gonna drop wait, you now. Wait, no, wait! What the fuck? No! No! Ah, I just dropped myself. What kind of fucked up world is this? Ah! Okay, postcard, postcard. Get the postcard. Get off this beach. Wait a minute, that card. Wait a minute, that card. A lot of, there's a lot of things in here. Attached to the hackamajig. What? Break the loop. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. So I, okay, so I have to go get it. Okay. I was like, why are you making me go into the inventory? So you just woke up and don't know what's happening. Same morning. Same fucking radio show. Don't need it. Four, three, seven, oh. Let's, uh, break some loops. Colt, you're never, ever going to break the loop. It's absolutely impossible. You want me to break it? You don't want me to break it. What do you want from me? I want you to not suck. Okay, it's been a pretty shitty morning. Or two, so I'm done. With you and all of this, it ends. Today. You don't even know where to start. Up, Dom. Obviously. Was it four three seven oh? <laughs> What's up down with you? Four three seven oh? Four three seven oh. Jean Claude up dam. Kate's here. Kate's here. 
Kate has come to visit us. Shit, I'm gonna need some more ammo. Kate, we were just talking about the immersive sim that you and Alec are gonna make. <laughs> Since I'm not a fishmonger after all. Is this a good game to jump into without having played any of Arcane's other games? I so I think so. I don't the thing is, like, I think that like there's this idea that immersive sim, immersive sims are complex, but I don't think they are hard to play. They are complex in design because of how they, they're immersive and they're, sim, they're simulative. So the way they're designed is complicated because you have to allow the player to do all sorts of crazy shit. But from a player perspective, again, sometimes they're hard, excuse me, hard to describe to people, but uh, I don't think they're hard to play. I think you could jump in this, fine. Equip your charges and cycle their modes by pressing G. Okay. So you got your G's, you got your H's, you got your... Uh, oh, I don't have the other gun yet. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, like I said, immersive sims, sometimes it's hard to kind of describe, like, what the deal is. But I don't think that they're, like, easy to get into, I think. And then as you play, what's nice is that you kind of start to, like, vibe. The, the rewarding thing about playing an immersive sim is that as you play, you start to kind of freestyle shit and just get creative with the tools that you have. And that's what makes them fun. Slab. Why would someone put this? Whoa! What the fuck? Wow! Wow! Okay. What is this supposed to? Ah, it's cold and weird. <sighs> if you can strum the guitar, it's an immersive sim. Reprise. This mysterious piece of metal seems to belong to you. A slab. It grants you the reprise ability, which will return you to life after you die, but only twice. Dying a third time will end your current loop. You'll wake up in the morning of the subsequent loop, bereft of equipment collected during the loop before. After returning via reprise, you're almost invisible for a few seconds. Use this opportunity to get out of harm's way. The number of times you can return with reprise resets when traveling between districts. Return it? Okay, here goes. Find my up dime flat. All right, I did all this shit. Nice. Okay. All right. 
Nice. Right. Use my cursor. Double jump. Cool. Many trinkets modify your guns. I didn't find another trinket. Oh, wait, what? Did I find that? I'm going to stop pretty soon because I got to go to bed. Dorsey Square, second floor. Dorsey Square, second floor. Dorsey Square. I asked you to do something different, Cold, and you decided to go to fucking Updom? How do you know where I am? You got cameras all over the tower tracks your position, and you always act so surprised. Like I wouldn't know exactly where you're going. I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, Dorsey Square is just down the road, cliffside. Let me guess. Second floor. Sounds like you're angling for an invite. <laughs> so you can show off your little beer tab again? Different me. This Colt's done talking to me. <laughs> I like this jacket. Cool. What? Hmm. This is Dr. Gwen G. Evans, inventor of the trinkets, among other things. A trinket enhances aim, rapid pupil interaction Murder, murder. You know 
what? You know what, folks? You know what we have to look forward to? Stealth Gamer BR, baby. Y'all subscribe to Stealth Gamer BR? Go to YouTube. Look up Stealth Gamer BR Dishonored High Chaos. Check that shit out. Classico. Folks, this is what you call a vista. This is how you do it. Portable noisemakers. I missed that. <laughs> Look at that magnetic insanity. Look at that P. This is dope doing. Is that guy drunk? Best P I've seen. <laughs> Where's this guy going? Can I drop down anywhere? Or I'm just a guy I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Ooh, that guy's got a shotgun. Games where mechanics are more important than the story. I don't know, dude. Story seems pretty important in this. Seems like story is very strong so far. Did I accidentally zap that guy? Is that what happened? Did I zap him? There's a shotgun down there. I don't know. I don't think I want to jump. I am scared. I want that shotgun. I want that shotgun. Give me the shotgun. I wonder if I can just zip down. Get ready, I'm gonna fucking die, everybody. Right in front of the P. What's this? What is this? That's what I just said, dude. Uh, what? I don't think I want to get on the mic. Personally. Yeah, I think I did zap that guy. Well, rip. Rip for being fucking dumb.
You know what, folks? Hate to do this, but I gotta go. I gotta get to bed, or I'm gonna be real not great tomorrow morning. So I gotta stop here. This is looking pretty darn cool so far. This level design looks great. Art looks cool. Mechanics seem neat. Seems good. So... Well, I'm going to lose some progress, but that's okay. All right, thanks, everybody, for dropping by. Um, I don't know when I'll stream next. Maybe during the week. We'll see. I think I got some stuff going on most nights this week. But uh, thanks for dropping by. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. That's good. Good stuff. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you later.